Wait. Shia hadiths over the Sunni hadiths. Why should you believe the Shia hadiths? Yeah, why, why, why should I accept that your hadiths are more trustworthy than Sunni hadiths? You would look at the narrators of each Sunni and Shia hadiths, yeah. and then you could see, you could read their biographies. And then obviously it's, it's all about, at the end of the day, it's all about your intellect and what goes online with you. Yeah. And then you just see from there. So what, what, which, which change that you reject, Aisha, or is there anyone else that you reject? I guess Uthman? I mean, I'm not sure, I'm, I don't really know much about Do you reject Uthman? Uthman. One of the, well, the Sunni said one of the rightly guided caliphs, that usurped Ali. I'm not sure about that. I don't know. I don't know specifically, but that's all I know. Where? Is that there's people we reject and there's people that we accept. Yeah. The same with Sunnis. Yeah. There's some people that they reject and there's some people that So as an outsider, can you understand why I think it's a bit vacuous for Muslims to point at Christianity and go, you've got different Bibles, when as Shia and Sunni, you've got different hadiths? Yes, because we don't we don't believe that the hadiths are sent directly from God as re revelation. At yeah. the end of the day, well, neither do the Sunni. They share that yeah, belief exactly. with you. So, uh, so you can't really compare hadiths to Bibles. Yeah. Like obviously, you claim that it's from God. Yeah. So, 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 do do you understand why, to an outsider, it might look bad that that Muslims can't agree on which hadiths to believe in? I mean, I'm not an outsider, so I wouldn't know, but. I mean, if you, dive, if you dive deep in and understand for yourself, then it will make sense yeah. to you. Then, then. Let me ask the question another way. Is one of the reasons why you reject Christianity because we have different Bibles? Um, yes, because... Yes. Know, I think so, yeah. Right. I don't know much about Christianity. So that's that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. And feel free to ask any questions you like. Um, you know, this is a two-way conversation. I don't want to just hit you with questions. If you want to ask me any questions, yeah, feel free to do so. But my, my point to you is... It, it, you, you can understand from my perspective, if you're saying that one of the reasons why I reject Christianity is because you have different Bibles, well, I look at you disagreeing over the Hadiths and having different Hadith collections, what? and I would go, well, if you're going to reject the Bible because there are different Bibles, why can't I reject Islam because there are different Hadiths? Okay, Hadiths, do we, do we put them the same level as Quran? We don't, right? No. Okay. We don't put them at the same level as the Quran. Do you but think Bible that we put the Bible at the same level as the Quran? I mean, it's your book. It's the, the, it's the Bible from God. Do, 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 Bible from so I will answer that question. It's a fair question. Let me answer it. So it, it's really important that uh, as a Muslim who might learn about something about Christianity, sure. is we don't put the Quran and the Bible in the same place. Literally, if we were to do a chart that showed the direct the, the comparisons, right? It would be Quran. Jesus Christ, Hadith's Bible, right? But even that is not really a direct comparison because we believe that if we were going to do really direct comparisons, it would be Allah, Jesus Christ, Quran, Jesus Christ, Hadith's Bible. And then you've got your, um, your biographies about the Prophet. Now what they're called, sorry, what did the Shia call them? Sorry? What are the biographies called? That literature? Um, science of Hadith. Science? No, 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 no. The, the biographies about Muhammad. The biographies of his oh, life. Sunnah, yeah. Something in Arabic. Yeah, you got some Arabic now, right? So they, they would also be the equivalent of our Bible. In fact, all of your other literature is probably, to some degree, comparable to our Bible. But the Quran would be compared to Jesus Christ, and Allah would be compared to Jesus Christ. So our religions are completely different. So when you say to me, hey, I reject Christianity because you have different Bibles, oh, right? Something? You've actually given yourself a good reason to reject Islam. But the thing is... So, yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah. Just because just, it's about Christian, so Sunni Shia. It's not about Sunni Shia. It's about Christians and Muslims, basically, and our relations with each other. I think on that point, I think the, I've seen you on YouTube before. Yeah. And I think the way you've been, people have dealt with you um, in terms of the conservative, type of uh, intolerant type of Islam that you've come across, yeah. more or less, in, in, in their sort of um, 
pushing religion down people's throats yeah. and rejecting Christianity or rejecting Judaism. Yeah, rejecting, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't agree with any of that. No, no, and, and you yeah. know, shake my hand, bro. You yeah. know, because I, I, think, I, I, I hope, think I hope we have transcendental yeah. truth in all religions. Yeah. I don't reject Christianity per se. Yeah. There's a lot of truth in Christianity, yeah. as there's a lot of truth in Judaism. There's a lot yeah. of truth in the Word of God. Yeah. There's stuff in Gospel of John that I would utterly and completely agree with because yeah. it's a spiritual truth. I, I'm my thing is about my journey towards God as it is for you. Yeah. And I don't think that um, we're both monotheists to a degree. You may believe in the Trinity, we may believe in something else, but it doesn't matter. We're all uh, believers at the end of the day. We believe in a God and yeah. we try to better ourselves uh, and we read the spiritual, uh, 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 what do you call them? Spiritual books, etc. Yeah, yeah. Right. And our goal is to get close to God, as it is your goal, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, why not unite on those? I think the people that you've interacted with, especially Speaker's Corner, it's like the psychological problems of people here. Yeah, There's all yeah, kinds of stuff yeah. going on. Yeah. It's very negative and it's very divisive. Yeah. And I understand that to, to a degree, not to um, say anything about me, but you might have been dragged into that a little bit and dragged into the sort of the divisive conversation that take place here. But outside of here, there is a lot of tolerance between Christians and Muslims, Alhamdulillah, and praise be to God that there is. Yeah. But I don't agree with the people coming to you telling you I reject Christianity. Yeah. It's, it's not like it's not about. What's your name, bro? Zulfikar. Zulfikar. Yeah. That's a nice name. What does it mean? Uh, it's the sword of Imam Ali. That, okay. In the it was called he... Zulfikar. Yeah, yeah. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. So Zulfikar, I, 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 I love your sentiments. I love your sentiments. Yeah. And I agree with you. I don't judge the entire Muslim community by the Salafist nut jobs that I meet in this park. Right. I am aware. The, the same kind of Salafist nut jobs that I meet in this park that go and attack Hindus in Leicester also persecute Shia whenever they get the opportunity and they persecute Christians whenever they get the opportunity. Okay? But whilst I agree and we shouldn't judge all Muslims by the Salafist nut jobs we meet in the park, um, even Shia Islam is intolerant to the Christian faith. And I use Iran as my example. Now, I don't know whether you support the regime or whether you're against the regime in Iran. I'll let you speak for yourself. But the Islamic regime in Iran is currently persecuting Christians. Now, do you condemn that persecution of the Iranian regime and its persecution of Christians? Absolutely. absolutely. Brilliant. Um, religious freedom, freedom yeah. human rights. Uh, okay. that, that's absolutely uh, intolerable. Yeah. I don't know whether, I haven't looked into that, whether what, what's going on in Iran, etc. But any people that are um, uh, cause in, doing any kind of injustice or oppression on any religious group is completely um, unacceptable. Uh, but the, the facts of the matter of what's happening in Iran, I might not be aware of that, but yeah. if it is going on, and I don't know what's going on, then yeah. of course I would absolutely not only reject that. Absolutely. Good, and I, I, I want to applaud you as being a decent and good human being. Yeah. Okay, so let's stop on that one, and uh, I want to move the conversation forward. Go on. I just want to say I've watched it before, and uh, alhamdulillah, like I, I like your attitude, just just what you're saying, what I've heard right now, and it's good just to differentiate because I, I, I sometimes I don't know if people do when they see things like like Salafi Wahhabi stuff, yeah. especially you know we don't agree with that. Yeah. And that there is like a sense of solidarity we feel, but a lot of times I feel like Christians or other faiths don't understand. Yeah. And they immediately lump us into that group. Like we have these same type of beliefs, or this same type of animosity yeah. towards Christians, Jews, yeah. or any, uh, Hindus, Buddhists, this type of thing. Yeah. So just, just I would like keep in mind, like maybe you could like try to spread that message that like, because a lot of people don't know. A lot of people don't understand. And I really feel sad when Christians think all Muslims, you know? Yeah. They think that, especially as Shia, that we have some. We don't even believe that all Christians would just go to hell or stuff. People, not at all. Stop yeah. Say, like, not at all. It's, uh, uh, we're students of the Hosa, which is the Shia Islamic Seminary yeah. in London here. Yeah. And we just had like our first lecture, and the Sheikh was telling us that just because someone is a Christian or a Jew or a Buddhist or something like that doesn't mean that they'll go to hell. Yeah. I mean, all this stuff that you're, we're all talking about here and all discussing, I think we're, we're just completely removed from the spiritual truths of these religions. Yeah. That how close together that we actually are than, than the differences that are um, put out there. What's wrong with the microphone? Oh, we got that one. Right. So enough. just because you're a Christian, what's your name? Bob. Bob. Just because you're a Christian, Bob, that doesn't mean that you're going to go to hell. Yeah. Um, or just because I'm a, I'm a Shia. But I, I want to, I want to suggest to you because whilst me and you appre can appreciate one another as human beings, mm -hmm. we can treat one another in a civilized way, and I will uphold that people should treat decent Muslims decently. We only need to smash the sort of supremacist Muslims, yeah. you know. Um, but but I want to I want to suggest to you uh, as Muslims that, and I, uh, whilst I appreciate it, it's a sheer belief that Christians might go to heaven, 
it isn't a shared belief the other way. As a Christian, I want to say to you that unless you worship the one true God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, unless you accept the Kalamalala, which is Jesus Christ, the, 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 as, you know, as the incarnate word of God on earth, and you do due honor to him and receive of his Holy Spirit, that, that you don't, you, you can't work your way into heaven. You can't get there by another way. You know, Jesus Christ is the only gate that you can pass through to get to heaven. Yeah. yeah, Jesus says, I am the gate. Literally says, I am the gate. You have to understand for us as Muslims, you know, when a Hindu comes to me and says, worship this and that, the Christian yeah. comes to me and says, worship other than God. Yeah. One God, la ilaha illallah. This for us, it doesn't matter whether it's a Christian, Hindu, Buddhist, when someone tells us and comes us to do anything, it's not upon Tawheed, not upon monotheism. Yeah. You know, and, but here's the thing, at the end of the day, if we agreed on everything, we'll be the same religion. Of course. So at I the don't end think of the we day, have to like convert each other. Because if we, if we sit down and have a nice polite discussion, we can yeah. be like, all right, what do you believe in? What do you actually, what does your heart say? What do you believe, what does your scripture say? And we're like, what does your scripture say? And how, how do we understand each other based on those, based on those things? Yeah. It's not a case of, oh, okay, I do this and you do this, and for that reason, I'm going this way and you're going this way. I don't think that brings us together. And I think yeah. more than any, more than any, at any time in history today, and in this time, we need people that are united. Yeah, as and, I, and, I, and, I, and I agree in terms of, in, like, in terms of your politics, me and, me and you are on the same page. Yeah. Like, if you're not a supremacist, I'm not interested in being supreme over you, right? I've only got an issue with the, the supremacists. And I think they politically need to be smashed. The takfirism. Yeah. But, but you said, but you said, but you said, this is, this is the kind of supremacist that I'm talking about. He's a supremacist Salafist. He, he believes, and look at his behavior. Like we were having this nice conversation. We were having a nice conversation. We were having a nice conversation until you jumped in. He will insult you. I can't, I can't, I can't He will insult you by using others. Now he's tricky. Yeah. That is his trick. They've watched me on YouTube, Sam. They've watched me on YouTube, you're just Sam. A you're just a coward. You're just a coward and you're rude. From a chicken. You're a coward and you're rude. From a chicken. You're a coward and you're rude. From a chicken. But this is From a chicken. this is the kind of salafist nonsense that we have to put with in the park. So, so and, and this is and this is this is the point. This is the point. You know, he the after now according to Islam, if you make an accusation against someone, you've got to provide your evidence, right? He made a public accusation that I'm a white supremacist. Did he point out any evidence that I'm a white supremacist? I mean, that's not even religion, that's just... Yeah, but that's yeah. my point. Yeah. This is what the supremacists do. They're not interested in any kind of dialogue and they'll use any weapon to achieve their end. So uh, many of the Salafist uh, supremacists here in the park, like Shamsi, <laughs> like uh, Sam, they, they accuse you of being a white supremacist. By the way, this man, if you, if you criticize man, Islam, he, he will by, by listening to him, you only feed his uh, supremacist answer, behavior. Anything you answer correctly, yeah. he will cut Have you got any evidence? Only... You got any evidence? Yes, I have that I'm a white supremacist. I have. Yeah, 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 where, yeah, where, where's the evidence, please? Yes. Show us the evidence. You're supporting Show us the evidence. You're supporting the you've, made, you've made a public. You want to kick the Muslims you've, 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 you've made a public statement. All the video. Uh, evidence. All the video there. Which, there. All which the video? video? You say all, all the video. video. Which one? All the video. Guys, in we were having a nice conversation. It's, it's a shame that he got interrupted. It's a shame that he got interrupted. Anyway. I would also just. Right, that's the reason why he did it. He just wants to stop the conversation. So let's not let him win. Let's not let him win. We were having a nice conversation, don't let him stop it. Yeah. And you see this stuff too, sometimes also, it's not, even though we're not Sunni, it's not the vast majority of Sunnis. Oh, yeah, really? Really, truly, I think what Sunnis. I was going to say, when that was going on, I was thinking in my head, is that you've been at the receiving end of all of this really negative stuff, and you've had to respond to that a lot of the time. And so, to a, that's why I said the beginning of this conversation, you've been dragged into this psychological sentiment, and it sort of um, hindered your potentially understanding of the transcendental truth of Islam, which if you read the right likes of Sayyid Hussein Nasser and, and Rene Gwenon and people like that, you would have had an understanding of the transcendental truth that exists in all religions and how we can unite based on that basis. And I, I, want, to, I want to come to that. Yeah. I want to come to that because what, what I want to, you, cause you said something that I, as an academic speaking to another academic, I fundamentally disagree with. You implied that Christian belief is not built on monotheism, right? And, and I would now like you to justify the assumption that Christian worship is not monotheistic. And I'm gonna set you a very simple challenge. I got my Bible in my bag. 
show me any clear instruction in the Bible that says I worship more, that I should worship more than one God, that I should believe in more than one God, or that there are, there is more than one God. Now, can you do that? Well, Bob, we just came here just to have a conversation, but doing no, that no, sort of we stuff. are having a nice conversation. Yeah. But you did say, you did, you did say that Christian belief wasn't a monotheism. Like to clarify? Yeah. I don't want to confirm. I don't want. You are a Christian. Alhamdulillah. I'm happy with you being what you're yeah. Christian. I don't I mean, want you like, to. Yeah. If what your heart. Is no, like, shake my hand, bro. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I have no interest in. If someone is upon his religion and he's a good person, teaches him good morals, I don't want that Christian to become a. And me and you can get along. I just, just for the record, just, just. Just to show that Sammy's wrong, you're exactly the kind of Muslims I'd love to have in this country. The kind of Muslims that Sammy's complaining about, the ones that I don't want in this country, and I'm on the record of saying it, is the supremacist Muslims who go out of their way to persecute and oppress others. And I think, I think society would be better if they're not here. But I've got no problem with you guys. I appreciate that. Because you don't sound like some supremacist knobhead. <laughs> but I would say, in my opinion, is it doesn't seem that way because they're the loudest. But my opinion is the vast majority, not just of Shia. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, yeah. and, and, and I would agree, but the problem with the vast majority is because of whatever reason about the way human beings operate as groups, the vast majority on most issues is silent. Unfortunately. And it's precisely because of the silence and the unwillingness to confront this tiny fanatical group. And please note, I've just said it on record, this tiny fanatical group. It's the unwillingness to confront them head on that allows them to have disproportionate influence over what happens right, within the, the Muslim community, yeah. around the Muslim community. They get taken in by the media, uh, yeah. they opposing sides. You know what the media's like, yeah. opposing sides. And, and the thing is, believe me, if these Salafist punks ever get the upper hand, they'll come for the Christians. But I reckon they'll come for the Shia first. Just like they did in Iraq and Syria. Yeah. They persecuted the Christians, they tried to wipe out the Yazidis, but they also went after the Shia. Right? Let's not be naive about these fools that Absolutely we face. Not, yeah. right? Speak out when you can, I guess. Speak out when yeah. you can. But I, I do want to come back to this claim you made. About this, I mean, I don't, I don't want to oh, take I, it I, I, like I want to try and move past that because I'm not yeah. associating no, no, I'm you with that kind of like thinking. thinking. I don't believe that Christianity is... Um, uh, I think Brother Jake was saying something specifically about us being on Tawheed. But I don't think that's Unitarian Christians as well. There's like a lot of Christians that believe in uh, monotheism. And, Essentially, the way you consider Trinity could be, I mean, as, as I've seen other people talk about it, you, you can, you do see it as, a, as monotheistic in, in a way, Yeah. right? So, I mean, it's not all like um, uh, Trinity and all this type of stuff. And even if you do believe, like you already said, it's fine. I mean, as long as you're... But, but, but I'm just having yeah. an academic conversation with you now. Yeah. The politics we've already dealt with, me and you are on the same page, we're all good. Yeah. So I let's, say, I think you're let's show that. I'm not qualified. I, but yeah, but so I, I want to I want to come to this statement because I know it's current amongst lots of Muslims. Yeah to think that Christianity and Christian worship is not monotheistic. I want to make clear, a Unitarian is not a Christian. Oh, okay. They aren't Christians. Yeah. Any more than an Ahmadiyya Muslim right. is a Muslim. The Unitarian is to us what an Ahmadiyya is to you. They're just people that have fallen into error. Right, but no, 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 let me come to the Trinity. As a Christian, I affirm that there is only one God, that only one God should be worshipped and that God is one within himself. That God is not divisible. That he can't be separated out. That he's not in parts. Right? This is Christian monotheism. I agree with you on that. Right, brilliant. And when we say the Father is God, the Son is God and the Holy Spirit is God, what we're saying is that the Father, Son and Holy Spirit all have identically the same essence at the same time. Right? It's not three gods, okay? Which then I would argue presents a problem for you because the Quran is explicit in saying that we worship three gods. Right, now that's an error. Now can an error be in a Quran? Well, like I said, Bob, I don't really want to go because we don't know. Uh, we, we wanted to come here just to have a conversation. Take up the vibe. Yeah, we're having a conversation. Yeah, I'm I mean, not like, shouting, you're not, not shouting. Not into like the theological stuff. I mean, I'm not interested in going into that. But, Bob, I do respect you. Okay. Uh, it was lovely to speak to you. Yeah, well, let me give you a gift, guys. I always, I, you watch me on YouTube, so you probably know I do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, 
If you remember nothing else about the Christian faith, please remember the clear statement of monotheism. And if someone tells you that Christians believe in three gods, please correct them. Because you've heard it from the horse's mouth. We don't believe in three gods. And this is a gift for you. Oh, sorry. This is a gift for you, and that's a gift for you. Thank you. All right, take care. Nice God bless. Nice care. talking to you. Spend less time here. <laughs> I do. I've just had a big, long break. I have just had a big, long break. So here we go, guys. I mean, there's a lot of shear today because there's a big shear event just outside the park. But the reality is that Shia share the same Quran as the Sunnis and that same Quran makes the same errors. If a Shia asserts that Christians believe in three gods like the Quran does, then that means that they assert an error. The Quran gets Christian beliefs wrong all the time. And that's the point, guys. The Quran has an error in it. And if it's got an error in it, it's I'm not like, from I'm God. I'm not a Muslim. Okay. I'm not a Christian. Right, well, so. Well, welcome back, Bob Zila. It's nice to be back. Oh, just some good news. All right. This is a big up to those Muslims who became Christians in You're Manchester, business. Jamaica. You're making money on social those, media. Those, those Muslims who became yeah, Christians yeah, 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 yeah. in Manchester, Jamaica. I've heard the good news. Your friend told me what went off. Shotgun is sending you his greetings. Ah, right. Thank you. So this is the Lamborghini. Okay. Cut. Cut.